Right now, you are on the loneliest road to the heart of the world. The distance the sunlight has to travel to reach here is so long that, by the time the light reaches here, he'll have already given up. This is the Mariana Trench. The house of absolute darkness and overwhelming silence. If you're ready, we're going to the very bottom. You are currently at the most extreme point in the world. This is the Mariana Trench. If you could fit Everest here, you'd need to add two more Eiffel Towers on top of it. Humanity has walked on the moon, but only a few people have managed to land there. Why? Because the pressure here is such that it will crush you to dust in seconds. But today, this overwhelming darkness may hold the only key to solving humanity's energy crisis. Welcome to the Great Discovery. Here, the pressure is more than one ton per square centimeter. It's like having an elephant standing on your thumb. So, how do scientists combat this pressure? Titanium spheres and synthetic foams. The windows of manned submarines are made of 20 centimeters thick acrylic. The slightest atomic crack would cause the entire vehicle to implode inwards in less than a second. Why are we taking this risk? The answer is the enormous treasure lying at the bottom of the ocean. In 1960, Don Walsh claimed he saw a flatfish when he looked outside. Nobody believed him. Life is impossible at this pressure, they said. But in 2012, James Cameron and the robots that followed, it proved that the place was not a desert, but a ghost city. Transparent, boneless creatures and giant amphipods. Nature always found a way, wherever we thought it was impossible. So where do these creatures get their energy from? How can life exist without sunlight? This is called, fire ice. Trillions of tons of sediment are trapped on the slopes of the Mariana River. If you pick up a piece of ice and strike it with a lighter, it will ignite, that's because it's actually compressed pure methane gas. This represents a potential greater than all of humanity's fossil fuel reserves. However, in 2025, scientists issued a warning, if the ocean floor warms, these ice deposits could melt. And it could turn into a massive, methane bomb that would heat the planet in seconds. The heart of the phone in your hand and the electric vehicle you drive beats at the bottom of the ocean. Polymetallic nodules? The world's richest deposits of cobalt, nickel, and manganese are located here. Currently, 10,000 meters below the surface, autonomous robot armies are being tested to collect these minerals. Whoever controls these mines will be the superpower of the 22nd century. Mariana is no longer just a pit, it's a mine. The future of the internet is cooling off beneath the ocean. Heat is the biggest enemy of data centers. China and Microsoft have tested underwater data centers in the depths near the Mariana Islands. The natural coolness of the water reduces cooling costs to zero. Perhaps this video you are watching right now is reaching you from a server thousands of meters below the ocean. The world is entrusting its data to the darkness. The biggest shock of 2025, life may not need sunlight. Scientists have discovered chemical processes in the Mariana River's chimneys that generate energy without any living organisms present. Abiotic life. This proves that life is not just a biological process, but also a geological one. If life can only begin in this hellish place through chemical reactions, it's impossible for us to be alone in the universe. Even the most remote corner of the world is not safe. Explorers found plastic bags and candy wrappers at the bottom of the Challenger Deep. Humanity has managed to pollute depths it has not yet been able to reach. By 2025, in the bodies of living organisms in the Mariana Ocean, more chemical pollution was detected than from organisms on the surface. This is a silent cry in the darkness. NASA uses the Mariana Trench as a space laboratory. The subice oceans of Jupiter's moon Europa have conditions almost identical to those of the Mariana Ocean. 
The pressure resistance tests conducted here are actually for spacecraft that will one day float on icy moons. Exploring the Mariana Islands is essentially a rehearsal for finding our alien neighbors. Why is there such a big competition? Because 99% of global internet traffic passes through cables under the ocean. The Mariana Trench is a perfect strategic location for monitoring or protecting these cables. Major powers are installing radar systems and listening posts underwater that no one can see. The wars of the future are not planned in the sky, but in these deep trenches. The Mariana Trench holds a mirror up to us. There, we see our own limits, our ambitions, and just how resilient life is. What we found in that darkness wasn't just gold or energy, it was our survival story. Next time you look at the sky, remember, perhaps the greatest secrets aren't up there. It's right under your feet, waiting for you in the deepest depths. I am Onyx Abel. See you in the next mystery.